Just hours away from a new year and the big party at the crossroads of the world, right in the heart of Manhattan, final preps in full force. It is PIX 11's Rebecca Solomon, who is live in Times Square with us this morning. You can feel the energy, even though the people don't start showing up. They're like tourists, you know, making their way around town. It's certainly a fun assignment, Rebecca. It is always fun, Kirsten and John. Good morning. Yeah, let me set the scene for you. It's quiet. It's warm or than what we've been used to. It's not raining. There's not a lot of crowds. It's like the perfect situation, but we know that's all going to change in a couple hours when the rain will start settling in. Hundreds of thousands of people will be making their way to Times Square, and it's going to be the main event. It is such an exciting time. We talked to a couple earlier from Italy. They actually didn't know what actually drops from Times Square. I had to show them videos of the crystal ball because they weren't aware of that. They have fireworks where they are in Italy, but um, certainly they're excited to be here. Everyone's excited to be here. We know that safety measures are full of force right now as the confetti and the ball drop, but it's so much more than that. It's really about just saying goodbye to 2022 and hello, 2023. Three, two, one. A most magical countdown to a new year just hours away from the crossroads of the world. There's nothing like Times Square in New York. Manhattan is ready for its main event. After weeks of preparations, confetti has been tested and nearly 2,700 Waterford crystals of the beloved ball are shining bright ahead of its famous drop. For the first time since 2019, the annual New Year's Eve celebrations in Times Square will play out without any COVID restrictions. It's great. It was this time we moved on and it's good days are back and we'll enjoy the evening and see the ball drop, have a bit of fun. Celebrate. The party will look more like it did pre pandemic, which means security measures are in full force. You will see thousands of uniformed police officers out there on post, in addition to the many officers assigned to their regular duties of patrolling all of our neighborhoods throughout the streets, subways, and housing developments. City leaders say they're doing everything they can to make sure Times Square will be one of the safest places in the world to usher in 2023. The goal is a very clear goal, and that is public safety. We must be safe, and we can do it in a very organized fashion. Safety first for millions of people who will tune in to the New York City's iconic ball drop. Tom Brennan is the master artisan for the sparkling centerpiece. He explains this year's theme for the Waterford Crystal Ball is gift of love. We've got hope and we've got love in our hearts. That's the foundation for us as people. And we're hoping that everybody can just spread a little bit of love this year. You know, get ready for 2023 with a real sense of optimism. Words of encouragement and hope heading into 2023. Three, two, one, happy new year! Man, that countdown never gets old. It's so exciting to see what the new year is going to bring as we kiss goodbye 2022. Uh, by the way, the parties get started here in Times Square around 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of the roads in and around Times Square are going to be blocked off, so don't even bother coming in this way if you're planning on driving by car. Officers are blocking off the roadways as we speak. And speaking of the officers, they say there's really no credible threat at this time. Of course, they're keeping a close eye, as you just heard, on all and everything around Manhattan, but uh, certainly it's all about coming out and having a very good time. And of course, a very happy new year. We're live in Times Square. I'm Rebecca Solomon.